Today we're going to do a comparison review of these four Anson Calder wallets. The Cash Wallet Plus, the Cash Wallet, Bifold Wallet, and the Cash Zipper Wallet. This is going to be a good one. Alright, I've got all these shoved together in the camera. Let's uh, start with this one. Well, first of all, I want you to notice that they all look the same except for this one. Notice that the font is a little off on it. Uh, compared to the others that we have here. But other than that, let's get into this one. This one is the Card Plus. And I've done a long-term carry test on this, and that's why it's a little stretched, but excellent. Now we can get rid of this box. Next one is this, the Cash Wallet. Lovely color. We will take care of that, see what it looks like. Next one is the Cash Zipper Wallet. Just did a recent review on that one. And of course, the Billfold Wallet here. Excellent. So we've got these four Anson Calder wallets right here. So let's get into it. Let's talk about this one. This is the Card Plus Wallet. Now the Card Plus Wallet can hold up to 12 cards. Of course that's after it's stretched. And it's a, a great little wallet because it has uh, the capability of holding a ton of cards. And of course we have three slots. We have this slot right here. In the front we've got a, a slot in the back. And of course we have a lot of slot uh, capabilities right here in the middle. Now this wallet, like all Anson Calder wallets, have these quick thumb access on, the, on their wallet, which gives you a quick, uh, quick access to the cards. It also provides a slot for money that goes in right here. Now the problem with this uh, wallet, though, is that you have a hard time getting access to the cards that are in the center here. You almost have to remove cards in the front of the back to gain access to it. Other than that, it's, uh, it works pretty well. So it can hold up to 12 cards, cash, you know, one to three slips of cash folded over twice that go into here as well as access to these two quick access slots. It does have this additional card slot in the middle and it can accommodate cash. The cash capacity is low. Uh, it can't accommodate coins. It is a slim profile and can work in the front or back pocket. So that uh, is a quick review. Now we move on to the cash wallet. Again, in the line of Anson Calder products, this provides more cash capacity than cards, but it still can hold up to 12 cards. And like all of them, it has a capability of a front card slot as well as a back card slot. Unlike the Cash Plus, which has no slot on the top, it has one on the side. Now, of course, you can put cards in here if you want, but it is really meant for cash. And so cash folded over once actually fits in here and goes in almost all the way. You see how this is sticking out. I think this is by design. Otherwise, you are going to be folding your cash over twice putting it in like this, and then it becomes really bulky. That's not really attractive, and that is not a slim wallet. So I think that they did this on purpose. Now, a lot of people have opinions on this because they don't like to have their cash showing. A lot of people don't. And it kind of looks sloppy, but I think this is by design. But anyway, uh, you have their quick access thumb push here in the front, which is great, and you also have it on the back, which provides that capability, and this slot here, which is primarily focused on cash. So it can hold up to 12 cards, three to eight slips of cash can go in here, fold it over once, as well as uh, no additional card slots. Now, it can accommodate the cash like we saw, medium capacity, so it, you really can't handle 10 or 12 slips of cash. It can handle enough though. Can't accommodate coins, and it is very slim. So it does have a slim profile and can fit in both the front and back pocket. That's a quick review of the cash wallet that we have here. Here is the billfold wallet, and it lives up to its name. It opens like a billfold and it has primarily a billfold space here. So it's not really folded over once, it does end up folding cash over once that comes here, but it's more traditional for people that want a billfold capacity. Now, of course, there's no features on the outside of this, but you do, like all Anson Callers, have two card slots here. We can see how that fits. We can slip one here, the card goes in on the inside here, and that provides uh, capacity, they say up to 14 cards, and that's, of course, after the leather has broken in, and you can do your quick your quick thumb push here to push your cards out. But it only has these two slots here and then access for cash. 
So if we take our cache and put that in here, you can see that uh, it's nicely. And this is made for US and Canadian currency. It fits just perfect up here. They do have a higher version for foreign currencies like euros, yen, and so forth. And so that is how this fits. Now, what is interesting is that this wallet can accommodate, they say, up to 14 cards. Well, looking at the thinness of this, you'd say, how is that going to happen? Well, the magic happens right here in this slot that goes all the way down. You can see how it has the leather in there, and that accommodates the extra bulk. So, there's two cards in there right now. Let's, uh, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. So, okay, we'll get a bunch in here. And if we were just to lay these in here, because we're not going to stretch it out, and you close it, look, it closes flush. And the reason why it does that is because it has this capacity in here in the way the leather has been has been uh, designed and cut. And that's, that's fantastic. You can see how it provides that uh, extra slack there. Well, I think that's just a nice design that was put into this and provides the ability for you to really stretch out this these card slots over time and make use of, of the card capacity, which is 14 and can handle three to 12 pieces of cash. So it is uh, capable of holding more than the cash wallet we looked at. It only has two quick access card slots, no additional card slots. It has high cash capacity, can accommodate coins, but it is a very slim profile as we saw, and it will accommodate front and back pocket capabilities. So that is the review of the features of the billfold in comparison. Now let's look at the cash zipper. Here is the cash zipper wallet, and the obviously not a, a you know, pinnacle line. It's uh, it's you know really top of the line price wise for sure, but as a zipper, it provides capacity, and that's what we're looking at here. Now with all Anson Calder wallets, we have two card slots, one in the front, one in the back. Let's take a look to see what this looks like. So we have one in there, we put uh, one in there, and you can put additional cards in there obviously, but if we open this up, you have two additional card slots in here. So there are two additional slots that are part of this wallet. Now cash of course is something that just uh, rests inside here, and it can be folded over once for US and Canadian currency, foreign currency, yen, euro, and so forth. That doesn't work very well, it gets caught in a zipper, but uh, as you can tell, it does have great capacity. Quick thumb axis here, so it can hold up to, if you can believe it, 18 cards. But of course, that's between four different slots here, two on the outside, two on the inside, as well as the ability to hold up, uh, you know, probably 10 pieces of cash in addition to anything else. It, of course, uh, can hold and accommodate coins, as well as about anything else, keys, whatever you want to put in here, because this zipper actually keeps it from falling out. It is uh, capable of a front or back pocket, but when it's full, it really doesn't have a slim profile, although it's really not that bad. That's a quick review of the features of the Cash Zipper Wallet. Okay, with these four wallets that we're looking at here, um, they are all made from a uh, leather made from a 16th century tannery in France. Now, they've come out with different, uh, a different kind of leather called a sport leather. Now, it's an Italian leather, and this, that version is carefully designed to withstand the increased wear and tear that comes from an active lifestyle. And ironically, it's a lot less money. The patented coating on the exterior of the sports leather is water resistant and stain resistant. And it only comes in non-RFID. Exactly, fantastic. Now, there have been some price adjustments on these other four wallets since we've purchased them. And, but all the non-sport models are made from uh, which are these, are made from that calfskin uh, leather that we talked about. All the manufacturing happens in the United States, and I would continue to look for expansion of and refinement of the Anson Calder wallet lines over time, because uh, they do really make wonderful products. The uh, zipper, cash zipper wallet, I think was failed a little bit there. It wasn't quite living up to the reputation of these other three that we reviewed, and you can see the review for this one. You can see the link above. But otherwise, we've been very happy with this overall. So that was a quick review of these wallets. Now, why don't I just kind of lay these out and we'll go over some of the ratings that we did on this, as well as some pricing we'll talk about. For quality, we've got the Cash Plus at a five, the Cash at five, the Billfold at five, and the Cash Zipper at a four. There was a little bit of disappointment there. Now with the pricing, again, the pricing, they're expensive, but there is high quality there by way of the materials. We did give the Cash Zipper a one because it's incredibly expensive. I don't know why they believe they can charge more for RFID. It is just a marketing ploy, as we know. And so always go for the non-RFID. That's right. Exactly. Now, we mentioned the sport model. The sport leather 
is a fine leather. It's Italian leather and it is much less expensive. I think they realized they needed to provide a level of, of affordability there for their products. The features, I think the features were wonderful across the board. Usability, uh, the billfold was a little clumsy, but the rest of them had high marks at a four. And from a perception perspective, of course, high marks for the Cash Plus Cash and Billfold. The Cash Zipper, however, not really. It seemed rushed, and the design of it, especially on the interior, was not all that great. So a final score, you can see how it falls out here between these four products we reviewed over the past while. So there you go. Beautiful wallets compared. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this all the way through if you made it all the way through. And we'll talk to you again. Thanks, bye.